I think I just want to reiterate probably what everyone's already said. I think the the content of the lecture, I probably learned more in the last 15 hours of the different classes than most of what I took away in my last year of graduate program. <laughs> um, I think just because it's very relevant to what we do day to day. Um, so um, I think that for me, obviously the transformational change in the design thinking, because that's top of mind, that's really what we focused on in the last two days of class preparing the presentation. Um, but what stuck out to me the most was really the communicating concisely because it's very relevant to what I do now, where I work with a lot of different um, functional teams and then rolling that up to executives. It's really a skill that is difficult to learn and you kind of have to learn that through practice. I actually shared that article with everyone on my team. And I think already from there, they're probably cascading it down to others that they know. So I think that alone is extremely useful. We all don't have a lot of time to read through um, a lot of sentences. So it's two sentences and keep it at that. And that's sort of my rule of thumb now, just try to keep it very concise. So um, really appreciate the work and really uh, liked all of the lectures and the case studies and in, in the workshops that we did together. Okay, so yeah, thank you for this uh, opportunity. Basically it was a really, really uh, well-designed program, all the courses, but excellent and a lot of new stuff uh, is something that I've learned, which I've never learned in my grad school, also uh, not experienced in my um, day, day, day to day work. Uh, one, one thing that like all the courses, uh, design thinking and change management were really, really great. But one thing that really um, I feel connected to was uh, in one of Keng's lectures, he mentioned about the innovation statistics of a new product introduction and how the statistics played out from 3000 ideas to one product. So, which was a real high highlight of my day today, uh, a big eye opener. And that is exactly the reason why Silicon Valley produces the most disruptive technology. So, mm -hmm. this was kind of the un underlying reason to it. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. So again, thanks for this opportunity. Um, yeah. And I really like the case that is so up to speed. Um, just very impressed even by today's case. We had the latest case from Uber and Zoom. So it's basically within a year old. Uh, that's really precious. And I think, uh, I think this is such a unique experience we can get and only here in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much for the hard work. Yeah, I know it's probably very late for the faculties as well, but uh, you guys are always very put together, very motivating, energetic. That really helped yeah. after a long day for us. <laughs> um, I think my key takeaway, there are just so many. Um, it's really great learn, learning experience like what everyone had mentioned already. Um, to me, I think it kind of applies back to being in the strategy deployment team, uh, kind of combining the program management and uh, design thinking. To me, the key takeaway is we need to do a better job in defining the issue we're trying to solve and a lot of initiatives that we are creating. Um, mm -hmm. Because I don't think we're always clear about it. Uh, we're always just kind of focusing on the request or ask from the leadership uh, without really knowing the fundamental issue we're trying to address. And because of that, we miss a lot of opportunities to work cross-functionally and potentially um, identifying the stakeholders that we need to work with for change management. Um, so yeah, that's really my key takeaway.